the only minions of the dark side. What could be more dangerous than a Sith? Born of the dark side. Slimo. Terran Tatek. Terran Tatek. What what makes this creature so dangerous? I do not believe it's possible that you could complete college with a GP and or two. They, I think they would have to, like, artificially raise your GPA. Um, sounds like they're extinct. Takumjustakmiki,grabulmogo,kachichuitabodunga, a great hunt. What is that? Ooh. Oh, and so the Jedi just killed the creatures? ちこんいたはどんがいきんこのばもれらちこんスリムポドなるでどんがこうんうい the work of killing the ten Terran Tatek? Terran Tatek, you mean. I love Kotor lore. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. So you can know of the death of an individual without actually knowing what's going on. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I love the lore in this thing. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. Let me ask some questions. Ah, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm looking for crystals to alter my lightsaber. I wonder. I can't remember if I ever need to go back to those caves. I can't remember. But as far as the uh, differences in the games, KOTOR 2 is a much better game mechanically simply due to the fact that, one, it has a higher level cap. Two, um, it has more D&D &D elements. Uh, better feats, all that kind of stuff. Like the fact that you can actually get advanced two-weapon fighting uh, and, uh, and that allows you to gain bonuses when you're fighting with two weapons is freaking awesome. Uh, there are far more feats. There's even a way to play a Pew Pew Jedi. <sighs> 
more talking. Okay, what's up? How can I help? You something you wanted to ask me? I do. How did you know? Uh, well, your face is all scrunched up. Like, okay. Uh, well, you keep staring at me. You are easily the vainest, most arrogant man I have ever met. Besides, I know you can't be serious, since I was purposefully not staring in your direction. <laughs> I am a Jedi. Remember, I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. I see. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel. <laughs> I mean, whatever I think about you. <laughs> Oh, you have feelings for me? I, that is, you, why must you be so impossibly infuriating? You know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. Uh -huh. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. I will say this, I agree with you, Kadrid. The, uh, the smart Alec dark side options are great. The problem is, is that in later games, instead of instead of having like smart Alec dark side, smart Alec, or smart Alec good, smart Alec bad, they, they made an actual smart Alec. Where you're just a sarcastic asshole all the time, but it's never either good or bad. You know what I mean? Uh, you could warn me when I do something bad. Blink once for dark side, twice for light. That's great. Great. You don't think? I don't think. Uh, what do you think I should do? I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Already, you exhibit the kind of willfulness, erratic behavior, and lack of compassion that will lead you to corruption. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. All right, unfortunately, life has taken an interesting turn, and I need to take a quick break. We'll be right back, so stay tuned, guys. I will be right back, and I'm really sorry for this, so stay tuned. Get spectacular. You said, put a plant 
in there. It's like, maybe I could make it beautiful. thing is if you're trying to stop drinking you need something better than alcohol and alcohol is pretty good so you better find something a lot better man <laughs> esteemable people do esteemable things it's like yeah well you want to figure out something that you're doing with your life that's worth not getting drunk and screwing up you might say well why do people drink too much if you like alcohol that's a stupid question why do people drink too much because well, it's great so why stop well you do stupid things when you're drunk you hurt yourself you, you compromise your health it's really hard on the people around you you tend to turn into a liar and it screws up your life. It's like, yeah, but it's pretty fun. Yeah, well, it is, but you need something better than that. And what's better isn't being straight and not making mistakes. It's like, that's all prohibition in some sense. What's better is, no, you need an adventure, man. Alcohol is an interesting drug. We are back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Just had to take care of some things. All right. It's good to be back. Yes, sir. All right. Here we are now. Thank you guys for waiting. I appreciate it so much. Freaking awesome. All right. And uh, here we go. Uh, I will try. That's good to hear. Without the proper training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult, even with the best of intentions. There's great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Well, that's pretty awesome. Uh, hmm. Hmm. It works both ways, doesn't it? You could help me stay strong. No, I won't do anything to hurt you. I'm I just going to say you it. I truly mean what you say, for now. <laughs> Sometimes it is not so easy to keep such promises. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. Hmm. I doubt. I, I doubt I'll be a risk to the mission. No, of course not. Not yet. <clears throat> but there will be challenges ahead that might make it otherwise. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. Ooh, okay. So, now... We can finally get the hell out of here. Let's go look at some of the store stuff. I believe that's all we can do here. Yes, we can look at the store. But anyway, so I was talking about... I was talking about the difference between... This game and KOTOR 2. So we're just gonna go... We're gonna go look. Okay, here we go. So, as far as uh, I was saying, the uh, the mechanics of KOTOR 2 is mu are much better just due to the fact that the game itself has more talents, more feats. You can even do a um, you can even do a blaster Jedi where you can literally dual wield blaster pistols and still use force uh, what is it called? Force block where you can deflect blaster bolts with just your hands. You don't actually need a lightsaber. You suffer a penalty but you can still do it. And that is actually really awesome and it's upgradable. Wow, I can't even afford it. Look at it. Holy crap. It's a plus two modifier already and upgradable, balanced as well. So you could actually wield it in your offhand. That is insane. That is insane. This is 8,000 rifle. I forgot about these things. Uh, stealth field dampener, interface band. Also, another thing the uh, KOTOR 2 has going for it, they learned a lot from making this game specifically insofar as like how itemization works and how uh, strength plus two ooh, it's 8500 Jesus Christ dude dude I've, done, I've extorted everyone I can and I've just taken all the money I can I still don't have enough for all this crap still don't have enough for all this crap retinal combat implant eh, it's not really worth it not really worth it there's a lot of Pazak cards like I care 
And let's see what we got to sell. We got 20 repair kits. Nah, we don't need to sell any of that crap. Any of that crap either. Two sets of clothing. We'll keep them for now. We'll do the Enchanty Light Armor. Let me see what. Let me see what it was. Uh, let me see. No, we don't need any of this. Don't need any of this. Uh, I think we're going to... It's five bonus. I don't think we need it. I think we're just going to sell it. We're going to sell... Uh, the military suit, because this is, this is light armor and it's seven, right? Yeah, it's upgradable. We're just going to... Yeah, it's medium. Yeah, we're just going to sell that. It's going to sell it. I don't need it. It'll be all right. Candorous has it. And I, I got Davix, you know, plate, so that'd be fine. We've got all these rifles. Should I just sell them? Blaster pistol? Yeah, let's go ahead and sell it. Ion, heavy blaster. Uh, it's blaster pistol. We need the... Ion rifle, we don't need that crap. Blaster carbine, don't need that. We we'll keep the disruptor. We'll tell, we'll get rid of the blaster rifle. We don't need that. Oral, yes. And I think we're gonna save those, and we're gonna leave the rest. Excellent. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, but as far as story, this this story was much more original. The story was it was much easier to follow. It had less BS about it. There was a lot. There was a lot of philosophical stuff they tried to do with KOTOR 2, and it worked really, really well right up until the end of the game when it just felt like it was super rushed, and they tried to just finish it real quick. You know what I mean? And that's uh, that's attack bonus. Ooh, ooh. So it gives attack. It gives attack. I thought it made bright beam sears on contact, inflicting great damage, but it just gives attack bonus. Ah, oh, but it gives bonus energy damage as well. Excellent. Okay. We'll definitely take that. And what do you have on here? You have the stun. Yeah, you have the stun and the attack bonus, right? What does this one do? Plus one attack, plus one damage. Sweet. And we'll assemble. And we have a bunch of other lightsabers that we don't need to worry about. Uh, or He's got everything on there. Karst Blaster has everything. And does Zalbar's crossbow have it? No, it doesn't yet. So we'll just leave that be. Armor. Now this thing, we're just going to go ahead because nobody's using that. And nobody's using this either. So we'll just go ahead and take these out. Just in case we want to use them for something else. And they've got everything on there. And we still need a damn energy projector on that thing. Alright. Let us... Where shall we go to first, chat? Where shall we go to first? Do we want to go to Corbon? Is that where we want to go? I mean, maybe. 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 I'm thinking I'm thinking we go to Tatooine and get uh, and get AK-47. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That class that you see that you guys are talking about, the uh, the pro the data structure, that sounds a lot like Reactor Principles did to me. Kashyyyk is the easiest to start with. Yeah, but we don't want easy. Come on now. I'm playing it on hard. I'm playing it on hard. Dantooine, Manon. I don't like this one, so we're not going to go there first. I'm thinking we get AK-47. What do you guys think? I like AK-47. Yavin? No point. Uh, da, da, da. Space station orbiting the gas giant. Let's go here. Let's go here. I forgot what Yavin is. I think we're going to go to Tatooine. I think we're going to go to Tatooine. I want to get my AK. Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. 
Bum, bum, bum. Callow Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kahlo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kahlo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Carath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yavin has cool stuff on it. Keep going back periodically and the store will advance more. As it does, you can buy much better equipment at their store. I did not know that. I thought it was just a regular store. I didn't know that, uh, that it had more stuff to it. I mean, I may have. I just might have forgotten. It's like this is what Star Wars games used to be. You know what I'm saying? It's it's so sad. So sad. Ah, I forgot I left him in his underwear. That's great. That's great. You should put some clothes on, buddy. Okay. Womp womp. Boom boom. Uh oh. Zanzibar. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Go there every time you get a star map. Okay. We'll do so. We'll do. Um, right? Not right. What do you mean, brother? Hmm. Okay. So we have a liar aboard, do we? Somebody's been in the things and been lying about it. Mm. Maybe I should uh, maybe I should inform them that I have a red lightsaber. Maybe that'll help. Maybe it should, right? One would think that this is what would happen. New. No. I think we're gonna go to Tatooine. I really like I really like need to get my AK. Besides, I really like that one. Strangely, the food storage storage seems to have been disturbed recently. No one in the party would have done this, so there must be some other explanation. I like how it's like no one is lying about getting into the into the stuff, so there must be some other explanation. Like there's a reason. There are there are no half-eaten or torn packages to indicate the theft was from pests or vermin. It looks like some unknown person has been conducting clandestine raids on your stores. Whoever the thief is, they have managed to avoid detection by you and your companion so far. Maybe a thorough search of the ship will reveal the stowaway. Ooh, there's a stowaway, eh? There is a stowaway, eh? Hmm. 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 Yeah, there's no reason I chose that one. There's no reason at all I chose that one. Okay, so we run around the ship for five minutes? Is that, is that how this works? I forget. At least you can hear the lightsaber. That's what matters, right? Now, okay, here we go. Behind you, and they stop to listen, they disappear. So, back this way. Did I literally miss this Miss this individual? Did I miss them? They run by me? Hmm. They're either super stealthy or really, really small. Is it happening again? Oh, but we have the... Yeah, uh-huh. It happened again. It's just, unfortunately, the uh, thing glitched out a bit there. They, it keeps doing that, and it keeps saying behind me, and every time I go that way... Every time I go that way... Footsteps coming from the direction of the cargo hold. Hmm. 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 Uh, invisible wall. Pay no attention to the invisible wall. Kipuna, bona nakichu. Bona nakichu. What are you doing here? Selima wanga kun beef king. I have no clue what you're saying. Mucha shaka paga. Mucha shaka paga. You know they at least could have like done this properly. I guess. I still don't understand you. 
looks at you helplessly. Well, shit. Um. Mucha shaka paka. Mucha shaka paka. Can you tell me your name? Oddly puzzled. Uh, point to self. Say tango. Mucha shaka paka. And she salutes. Mucha shaka paka. So Sasha. Sasha's your name. Mucha shaka paka. Mucha. <laughs> That's that's not going to get old. Okay, so we're going to try to learn her language. This is going to be bad because I suck at this. Prepare for the entertainment of your life. Uh, many of your words speaking are Mandalorian. Kipuna. Bona na kichu. Bona na kichu. Yeah, uh, I'm not saying that. So you know them. Sure. But you're a Mandalorian child. Kipuna. Bona na kichu. No. So you're human. You learn the words from somewhere else, though. Mandalorians are humans. You... I hate when they do this wrong. She doesn't understand. Okay. We're going to try that again. Banontek. Is that, is that what we're doing here? Um, let me see. Hmm. Say something else. Uh, is that safe? Is that it? Okay, so she's safe. The panel... Is that what that means? You sleep there. Kipuna, bona na kichu. She gestures around her. The panel, all of this is your home. It means home. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Okay. Uh, Iswan, na Iswan? I see you or you see me. I need to hear more. Hmm. You're hiding. Na Iswan is hide. But non tech. I didn't get all of that, but sure. Hmm. Britag, what is that? Britag, lease. Is this a thing? Is there something around here? Making a swish sound? Yeah, I don't understand what you're going to Hmm. Say something else. She keeps saying the same damn thing. Britstag, what is that? Points at things around her. Home? Is that it? Swooshing? Crap. Did that wrong. Right. You stay here for now. Okay, we'll get back to that later. I think you actually get to complete that later. I think you need more more for that. Hmm. 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 So we've got a stowaway. We've got a stowaway. I'm sure I am pretty sure I know where to go for that quest. Pretty sure I know. But uh we're gonna we're actually gonna try to learn her language. I think we gotta do more later though. We should be able to do it now, actually. Really? Uh, okay, well, we're not going to be able to do it right now, so let's go ahead and... Oop, nope, cancel. Because we can't get out of this. Can we... See, we can't... It won't let us... You cannot cancel from the screen at this time. You must accept the... <laughs> Damn it. Uh, yes. Because I'm here. So I have to I have to get out now because I hit the screen. All right, we'll do this, and then we'll, we'll try we'll try to talk to her here in a second. I thought it may be one of those things where you have to come back after you do a few things. Because she gets frustrated and you have to try again or something like that. I know there are lots of quests like that. It's kind of like this this thing, we're, this quest right here, or this quest, this part. Hmm. I am new. Yes, very new. What do I want? Uh, I'm trying to save the galaxy from the Sith. Uh, hmm. I work for the Republic. Uh, no, I don't want to say that, do I? Okay, we're just going to do this. Hmm. Yep, sounds good to me. Okay. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't have time to stick around the airlock. Uh, let me in. Keeps jamming, eh? There we go. You think it depends on one of your character's attributes or skills? Probably intelligence. The brisk tag thing, eventually it should give you the option you need. Yeah, it's probably intelligence. Uh, and considering my dude's, uh, not very smart. If I can get to the character screen. Yeah, there we go. It's unfortunate because you would think intelligence might be actually a good thing to have in a game like this, but no, 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 no. In a game with wizards that depend on wisdom rather than intelligence. Just saying. 
Just saying. Okay. Let's talk to the bro. And...